Anytime you have a holiday, it's always good for the retail business. It's turned out that Halloween has been one of the number one holidays for candy and chocolate. Every kind of candy you can imagine. You know, the corn candy, of course, uh, Reese's Cups, which is your number one, Snickers. Uh, M&M Mars is really huge. All the Hershey bars, you know, that's excellent too. We do offer um, novelty items, chocolate pumpkins, crackers on a stick. We do have ghosts on a stick. Uh, we do some prepackaged items also that we do offer for our customers. Some of these holidays, like Halloween, as you could tell, you're able to get a little bit creative with your displays, and uh, that's the fun part. For Halloween, we do decorate our store. Back here in the Chocolate Kingdom, we have decorations for Halloween that we set up um, usually at, in about September and straight through until the end of Halloween, until about the beginning of November. Well, right over here, we have, this is the Here's How candy. This is more old-fashioned candy. Now this you're not going to really see people putting it into the Halloween buckets, but you're going to see this more or less in the houses for the kids that have their friends over and you can put different assortments of candy out. So for us, we love the holidays. Halloween's fun because you get a little boost in sales at the end of the month. And the end of the month sales sometimes are a little bit sluggish versus the beginning of the month when money's a little bit more uh, free in people's households. Although Halloween is not one of our biggest holidays, um, it does raise our sales slightly. We do have a lot of parents and grandparents that come in um, that buy the novelty treats for kids for school parties and treats to pass out and also for trick-or-treaters. The National Retail Federation estimates total spending in 2015 will top $6.9 billion. The average American celebrating will spend $74. You will sell it the whole month of, of October, the whole month that candy sales are going to be going, but there is always a mad dash to the finish line. I have customers that will come in in September and they start looking because they're looking for a specific thing or item and they want that. The last couple days it does get crazy. Ward's Costume Shop started in 1949. My aunt and my mother uh, opened a business and it was ran in our home in Warren. We moved to Niles and now we're on Robbins Avenue and it's in the third generation. And what the lion does. What does the lion do? <laughs> Very good. We do get a lot of people come in just to pick up the accessories, looking for that little added touch to put to their costumes. We do a lot of wigs. Um, it just varies, but now I see a lot more people are buying costumes, but my, my thing is, I don't think they realize as far as rentals, that the rentals aren't as expensive as they expect. The mask, probably the most popular mask out of all of them is Michael Myers. He's one of the biggest sellers all year. Then the rest of it, it's just a variety because we're here all year round. I'm actually uh, replenishing some of my supplies. I'll do like zombie walks and stuff, like some okay. of my friends will do productions and whatnot, and I'll help with that. Halloween is now the adult Christmas. I've actually noticed within the last few years that Adults, more Halloween is more for an adult. Uh, the little kids go trick or treating, a little bit of makeup, maybe a costume here and there. Uh, but the adults seem to be going more, more all out. The adults decorate now more than they ever did, like their houses. Similar to like Christmas, a lot of the adults get into decorating. They have the bigger parties. Uh, at this time of year, the adults can go out and have fun. And it's becoming more and more interesting to see um, the Halloween parties um, around the bars in the local area. Uh, it, it's just, it's fascinating to see the amount of time people will put into this.